Clearly they're short-term relief and we've seen for the past couple of weeks a risk-off approach in markets where the riskier currencies such as Asian currencies, the Australian dollar, even the euro have suffered and the dollar has benefited as a safe haven flow. But given that we've got this uh, re result now, we've got an agreement, the market's more likely to put risk on, we think the dollar's going to sell off, we think that it's going to see a reversal of, of uh, those uh, moves of the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. So we like Asian currencies, we like the Aussie dollar, we like the euro. All right, how long do you stay out of the dollar then? Well, we tend to think most of the year because uh, we don't think the fiscal cliff is the real story. We think the Fed is what's driving things. Uh, Mr Bernanke has announced significant balance sheet expansion, printing of money. That's going to keep the dollar weak. So, and where, where's your euro dollar call now? Well, we've got euro dollar moving to 135. That six months ago looked like an extremely, uh, well, even crazy call. Uh, now it's fairly conservative. I would say the risk to that is slightly higher. But again, it's probably not the best way to play dollar downside. I think Asian currency. I think the Aussie dollar, even sterling, are uh, uh, likely candidates for outperformance here. You know, of course, all this fiscal cliff talk has, has meant we, we haven't talked as much about what's going on in Europe. When, when do we really start worrying about Europe again and getting out of the euro? Well, I think the risk in the Eurozone has shifted. Um, certainly six months ago, we were nervous about um, tail risk, Greece leaving, potential even breakup of the Eurozone. That is now not a risk. I think the problem in the Eurozone is, is low growth, and that's going to be with us for some time. But in an environment where the Fed's printing money, I think the dollar wins that battle, so the dollar remains the weakest. The euro goes up, but the real trade here is that euro underperforms on the crosses. So euro will underperform Aussie, it will underperform sterling. Just to come full circle again, I mean, you, you seem really positive on this, this news out of the US. Mm. Does it not worry? Does the debt ceiling issue not worry? Does the, the, the spending cuts issue not worry? you? When do you start to worry about this stuff again? Well, I think it's interesting. The U.S. has taken a very different approach to Europe. Europe is all about austerity, about fiscal consolidation. The U.S. has said, we're not going to worry about it right now. We're going to bet on growth coming back. We tend to think growth will come back in the U.S., but there will be some uh, uh, fiscal issues. So we wouldn't be surprised to see the U.S. downgraded again. And that may keep the dollar uh, relatively weak. But as we've seen before in foreign exchange markets, sovereign downgrades aren't big drivers of currencies. Markets are much more interested in growth.